they shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Forty years this year since the uh, Scots College Pipes and Drums first performed at the Edinburgh Military Tattoo. That was 1973, and that was the first time an Australian school had performed at that very prestigious event. And we might mention the senior drum major at Scots College in 1973 was the ABC's current rugby commentator, Steve Rebilliard. I might say, Bob, a rugby man, I'd hate to see Steve will be living in the kilt these days. Yes, it might be a bit much for live television. And the Scots College, of course, is one of 58 different bands we'll be having today, and they're always good. Uh, Schoolboys, yes, but they play and perform to a capacity well above that. Well done, the Scots College. And, of course, immediately behind this big combination of pipes and drums from the Scotch College is our official flag party, the party carrying the Australian national flag. Here we have over 300 flags carried by uh, various youth club members, uh, Air Force cadets. Uh, the flags are being carried on behalf of veterans from all wars and conflicts in which Australia has particularly participated and there's no better sight than that the pipes and drums leading that magnificent contingent of the Australian national flag the result of a decision made some years ago that mass Australian flag should lead the march in every year that way the veterans could march with the flag under which they served it's an important symbol for our troops. It's been proudly displayed wherever Australian Defence Force has carried out its duty. Today, it takes a special significance as we remember all of those who've served in the defence of our country. And it is quite a superb sight. Behind them, John, you can see the New South Wales Mounted Police Escort, and it's led today by the Unit Commander, Inspector Kirsten McFadden, riding Troop Horse Borrigal, and alongside her is Sergeant Karen Owen, who is, uh, is, who is in her 30th year of the Mounted Unit. The contingent consists of 20 Mounted Police officers in ceremonial uniform. They carry lances presented to the unit by the High Commissioner of India in 1957. Each of these horses are selected for their temperament and fitness and are traditionally all bay, all black or all brown in colour and they stand over 1.65 metres in height or 16 hands in the old scale, John. Uh, Bob, 16 hands is the real measurement. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, look, the Mounted Police have a long and very proud history, having first been set up in uh, 1825 by Governor Brisbane. It is the oldest continual Mounted Police Unit in the world. It still carries out important police duties. And immediately behind them, Her Excellency, the Governor of New South Wales, down in Canberra for the dawn service of the War Memorial this morning, back to lead once again the Anzac Day march in Sydney. Immediately behind her, of course, in uniform are her aides from all three services. But I'm always impressed the way Her Excellency is here every year. Nothing keeps her away from the Anzac Day march in Sydney. And you can see marching alongside the, uh, the, the uh, Governor there, Rear Admiral Tim Barrett, Commander Australian Fleet, and Vice Air Vice Marshal Mel Hutfeld, the Air Commander Australia. The real Admiral Barrett is responsible for all Navy ships, and Air Vice Marshal Hutfield's position sees him in charge of the operational arm of the RAAF. Air. And the escort band today is the Sydney detachment of the Royal Australian Navy Band, led by Director of Music, Lieutenant Commander Paul Cottier. It's one of Australia's most recognisable and prestigious ceremonial ensembles and its history can be traced back to the various bands of the colonies before Federation. This year the band will be celebrating its centenary as the original band was embarked on board HMAS Australia when it arrived with the fleet in 1913. 
And now the banner, of course, of the RSL. And this annual event, the great march through the streets of Sydney, is organised by the RSL. Not recommended for viewing by persons under...